Hello. I would like to talk to you tonight about the acupuncture meridians in the body and the EFT system. This is Dr. Brody for Beyond EFT. And the topic really generates around a very simple concept, and that is that the body has 12 highways that control all of the organs, all of the muscles, all of the features of the body and how the body functions. These highways are called meridians and there are 12 of them. Uh, they start at the fingers and at the toes and they travel through the entire body and every one of the organs has a specific meridian that controls it. Now, when something goes wrong in the health of a person who is a subject of our a subject of our discussion for EFT healthcare, uh, this person's meridians will show that there is an imbalance in their system, and that imbalance manifests itself in the pulse meridians of the wrist, and these can be read out with a very simple process that we uh, have described in other videos. Now. The random tapping that is used by EFT to generate a connection between the mind and the body is not specific. And this random tapping is rejected by the body in many cases. In other words, um, the body wants very specific input. Now, let's think about a person who's lying in bed and all of a sudden he hears a little mosquito it's buzzing around in the room and then it lands on his skin. The body's able to sense that and we're talking about a very tiny little input, a little mosquito, yet your body goes into instant action to try to repel what it knows is happening as soon as this mosquito lands on you. The same thing happens when you start tapping on somebody's body. The body says, just exactly what is all this tapping that's going on? It's not in a specific place, and it's not in a place that we want to have some action changed. So the body, in a sense, is, is, is a bit apprehensive about this whole situation of the tapping. If you were able to read out from your meridians exactly where the problem is, and you were to press or tap or use a magnet or use a laser or use an acupuncture needle, and, and, and um, approach that point, the body would be very receptive because it really understands what it needs to know to be able to get better. But if you tap all over the body, then you will find that the body is, is not incredibly receptive to this. And this is one of the reasons that EFT is not always effective. However, if you're able to find out through meridian pulse diagnosis which meridians are affected when a person is having a uh, an abuse response which meridians become inflamed so to speak which out of balances come to the fore then the body is is very responsive to uh, a small input in a very limited area that will change um, the non-functioning meridian energy balance into a normal balance. And that's really, that's really what we want to talk about tonight. Um, if you need to get better, uh, I really believe that this indiscriminate tapping is not the way to go. What you need to do is you need to find out how to examine your pulses, how to be able to find out which ones are out of balance and to, and to fix those and to, and to um, come and, 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 and place a direct input in one place and, and the body will get better from there.